Hello everyone. In this video, I want to discuss, is Hi-Fi Endgame, also known as Hi-Fi ASMR, also known as Novrot, the GOAT of audio? As many of you know, when I first got into audio measurements in early 2021, Novrot, or Hi-Fi ASMR, whatever his name was, I think it was C-Description at the time, was making videos talking about magnitude frequency response graphs, and he had a target curve then, and he said this was the greatest target curve ever. If we look at this target curve in blue, at the time it was just a hand-drawn line on this 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz response evaluation template with, um, I guess, different areas being labeled as used for different instruments. But it's a little bit different than the current Hi-Fi endgame target. And the backstory was that since the graph was entirely hand-drawn by him, he did not have a TXT or CSV file available for the graph. So what I ended up doing was using Webplot Digitizer to extract the sound pressure level values relative to the frequency points. And then I just, I think, uncompensated it for a diffuse field or something like that. And I was able to just come up with this text file, which was his hand-drawn target curve. But since then, he has modified it mostly to have a bit more sub-bass. He slightly modified some things like this dip between 500 and 1000 hertz, but other than that, it's about the same. And if we go to the PECDB rankings, you can see that for each of the tests, there are only three target curves which are statistically tied at the top. The PECDB IE target, high fan game target, and the mystery target for in-ears. The mystery target, the high fan game target, the PECDB over your target. The little O letter is the Greek symbol for sigma and represents one standard deviation. So, for example, 1702 minus 37 times 2 would be 1628, meaning that to be 95% sure someone would prefer the PEC DB in ear target to another target curve, that target curve would have to score below a 1628 to, I guess, be out of the 95% confidence interval. But when it comes to the top three target curves for both the in ear and over ear ratings, none of them meet this criteria so they're all statistically tied and as this test has been going on they've been shifting a lot in position and i don't really see this necessarily changing anytime soon but i guess the good thing is the hi-fi endgame target is technically reachable in the pec db parameter bounds all you need to do in the ab slider test for example is increase the base reduce the ear gain and increase the treble and then you would have the hi-fi endgame target um, I guess one potential issue with this in the AV slider would be that there's currently no um, lattice normalization being applied, so maybe that would increase the chances of someone going to the HIFA endgame target. The solid green target, or the beta all target, is also the mystery target, which represents the average result from users using the AB slider tool in that they seem to prefer a little bit more bass, a little bit less ear gain depth and a little bit more treble. Again, it's really hard to know what the exact reasons are, especially because um, there's no loudness normalization in the AB slider tool. But regardless, all three of these target curves seem to perform exactly the same in terms of preference and statistical significance, which, you know, does make sense to a large extent. This graph here is compensated for diffuse field and all of them have a bass boost, some ear gain scoop and smooth and well extended treble. And if we compare the high fan game target directly to the PEC DB target, we can see that it's just a little bit more B-shaped. It has more bass, um, less ear gain, or upper mids, and more treble. So it's V-shaped. And, and from the human ear sensitivity chart, we know that at lower volumes, we are less sensitive to low and high frequencies. So I think a po possible explanation is that people at lower volumes would prefer the hi-fi endgame target over the PEC DB IE target or the mystery target, and at higher volumes you would prefer the PEC DB IE target or the PEC DB over your target. Um, so does this mean I think that the hi-fi ASMR target is the best? Not necessarily. I mean, when I first got into audio or the, the measurement side, I was pretty, you know, honed in on wanting like this flat, natural sound that's lifelike and realistic and that's still what i want out of my audio equipment and when i do the pec db shootout tests i consistently get either the pec db targets or the um mystery target as the number one preference not really ever the hi-fi endgame target maybe in one or two tests but um for me i would say the pec db targets are the better sounding targets but 
you know, there are clearly a lot of people who do prefer the hi-fi in-game target, and there's nothing wrong with that at all, but when it comes to these other target curves, Harmon IE 2019, Moondrop VDSF, IEF Preference 2025, Kimar KB50X minus 10 dB tilt, Harmon Over Ear 2018 Linear Base, Harmon Over Ear 2018, the performance is just very lackluster compared to any of these three other target curves we have. Well, I would just say two really pec dBs in your target, over your target, and um, let's say that's just one target, the pec dB target. I don't think there would really be any preference difference between the two and the hi-fi end game target. We have the neutral, and then we have the V-shaped sound signature. I don't think anyone really wants darker than these signatures or less bass than these signatures, but yeah, hi-fi end game is definitely the GOAT. He's the OG. Um, I don't know how his original target would have done in the listening tests. My prediction is that it would come across as too bright and muddy, but his current target seems to be doing really well, so kudos for kudos for that.